Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, really quick unboxing, little, a little, a little something, a little Chanel something, a little impromptu. Um, I'll tell you about it. So, October last year, Bestie Lorna and I went to Paris and whilst we were in there we went to Chanel and one of the items we were actually both interested in but we thought we'd see if they had any was the Chanel Mini O-Case. Um, we wanted slightly different ones but I thought I'd see, and I was open, I thought I'd see what they had. Anyway, they didn't have any. That was it. It's kind of been on my wish list for some time but I hadn't done anything else about it. And then a week or so ago I was on one of the Facebook groups and a lady there that I actually bought my pink Chanel from, she was selling a brand new mini O case. It was about £10 more than the RRP, but I was like, well, it's available, it's there, I've not got to spend money on going to town to try and find one to come back empty handed. I'm denied about it, I'm denied, then sort of said I was interested, and then went to bed. Got up in the next morning to have. Um, I say, you know, sorry, but I just sold it. I, basically, I just missed out. It's first come, first served, and I just missed out, so fine. And then she messaged me to say, well, actually, I've got another one. Um, and she was offering me first refusal. So I said, yep, thanks very much, I'll take that. And this one's actually £70 cheaper because it was six months older, but it's still brand new and unused. So I'm like, well, it was what? three months ago um, that I was even looking to have bought one, so that's three months of that gone anyway, had I been successful, and so I was like, yeah, fine, it's new, it's not like it's used, so I've got it cheaper than retail price, so excellent. Here it is, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just open the jiffy bag and, um, and see, shall we? And then I'll tell you all about it, and my intended use for it. So she's wrapped it up in some bubble wrap. And also it came with, you know, obviously your authenticity card and everything. Or well, should be, we'll, we'll find out. It should do, I trust her. This lady sells a lot on Facebook. She's really reliable, gets a lot of Chanel items. I'm not quite sure the background as to how a lot of Chanel items and for some of like the less classic items you can get them brand new you know like a bag like five six hundred pound cheaper than retail brand new with everything so she's worth a look so this has been repackaged because um, you know she's had it out to take photos and that so it hasn't got its camellia what do I do with them anyway I bag them up and shove them in the loft so you know I'm fine without a camellia also be nice, but you know. Anyway, under the ribbon. There we go. There we have the Chanel box. Ooh! I thought I heard chocolates. So two little lint chocolates in the box. We'll pop those aside for about two minutes time, depending on how long I talk. So there we go. There it is in the little dust bag. So yeah, that's what's in the box. So we'll take it out. So I'll bang outside. Must have been a bird. And oh, there's the back. And here it is. So this is in the black caviar with gold hardware because most of my bags do have gold hardware. So I wanted the caviar, not lamb. Whilst I've got the cosmetic pouch in lamb which is actually wearing really well and I use that all the time because I use my maxi bag all the time in lamb I was after caviar and I have to say it's actually a really compared to the bags this is a really soft caviar it still seems really durable but it's soft and squidgy you can see there how poofy the puffs are and um, so that's beautiful and there we have the zip and then you can see 
please focus, there we go. Now you can see at the top there, you've got the two CCs, so as you unzip, your zip stopper to CCs. And that's just a detail that I'd seen on other videos and a detail that I absolutely love. So here it is, if I open it, I've then got the authenticity card and hopefully that matches the number inside. Quick look. Yep, it does. That's excellent. Good. I thought it would. I, I trust her. Um, here we go. And inside you've got the label there saying Chanel made in Italy. What do you expect from these? Um, now whilst I will probably use this for, for storing little cosmetic bits and bobs in, it isn't wipeable. It is just this like quite quite sturdy, tough, um, thick cotton. I don't know if you can see there. It's hard showing the inside. Um, and plus obviously the lighting isn't amazing as ever. I've got it in like the windowiest part of my house, which is the kitchen. Um, I returned the light. In my last video, which I haven't actually uploaded yet, but by the time I've uploaded this one I would have done. Um, I actually film it. It's probably all out of focus. I got a new light from Amazon, like an O-ring light, which I've never had before. It didn't go so well, because as you can see now, I'm all shadowy, because I've got like window, non-window. Um, anyway, it didn't go so well, so I've just sent that back. I'm going to try another one, see if I get on better with that. Otherwise, we're just shadowy. Anyway, so, there's the best. So, what I'm going to use this for mainly was, like, lipsticks, hairbands, odd little bits. So, this is probably in size, I'd say similar to a mini pochette, in terms of uh, height and width but obviously it's not got the depth so so what I wanted this for really was you know for use in my classic medium large flat bag or any other small bag uh, probably really well as well in the um, Pichette Matisse any other small bag that well I want to travel a little bit lighter and I don't want anything as fat as the mini Pichette not the mini Pichette is big but it's just a really nice little catch all like I say you're not going to get a lot in this do not think you're going to get a lot in this I will probably do a future video, let me know if anyone's interested, I'll probably do a future video and I'll actually compare this to um, my other Chanel cosmetic case and also with the mini pochette. I think probably the Chanel, this Chanel mini o-ring, mini o-ring, I've got bloody rings on the brain, the sh this Chanel mini o-case and the mini pochette are probably most similar and, and most popular. So if anyone's interested, I will do a comparison as to what you can fit in in each and pros and cons and what they look like in bags. But for now, there she is. Really happy, she's really pretty. Um, and like I say, I've got, got hold of one and it's new and I've saved myself, whoops, nearly dropped it, 70 pounds off the recommended retail price. I'll put a link in the description once below. I haven't seen you know what the Chanel, well some of you may know what the Chanel website is like, it's not great in terms of seeing every item available. Now they haven't, as far as I could see, they haven't got these on the website, but they did have a mini O case in a couple of different colours in the caviar leather still. I think it was like one was yellow and was like a corally orange colour from memory. And they retailed at £385. Um, so like I said, I paid £320 for this. So I'm happy, it's new, it's poofy, and um, that's that, so, oh, quick update as well, um, you may turn off now, most of you probably will, if you haven't already, um, quick update on the, I'm going to call it the Givenchy, I call it Antigona, I think some say Antigona, I don't know how it's pronounced, anyway, received that and a couple of videos ago I did an unboxing, it was in the beautiful um, Oxblood or Aubergine um, crumpled painted leather, absolutely loved it. After filming I was packing the bag away into its dust bag and noticed the teeny, teeny tiniest um, mark on it, like it did show the dust and I thought it was another bit of dust, I went to swish away and it's actually a mark and because of that I have sent it back. 
I'm hoping that another one is from the Supporte again. It's going to be delivered two days time on Monday. Um, and hopefully that one's going to be alright. If that one's damaged, then I think I'm going to have to just say beautiful bag, but just too delicate for me. Because if it's turning up damaged, then what chance have I got on daily commute of, of maintaining it? And I don't like, I'm one of these people, I like things pristine. So it's why I will buy pre-loved, but I struggle to buy pre-loved. I'm very, very fussy because I just like things to be pristine. So that was a quick update on that. And now I really will go. I will say goodbye. Last bit of eye candy there. And I'll see you soon. Bye.